They shared a bond. And they were friends. But then, as if the road they walked were but a dream, they fell into slumber. All that remained to them then was the darkness. Was even their bond only an illusion? In the end, was friendship but a phantom mist? The eye is closed. The boy departs, pursuing hatred. Clutching at the shadow of his brother. Months, years pass. And he grows stronger. Eyes which lurk, waiting in their dens. See only the rage of the abyss. Hatred leads to revenge. And wrath to new despair. The tale of Sasuke Uchiha begins anew. The final valley is over. Sasuke Uchiha, having forsaken his best friend, in order to pursue the power needed to revenge the Uchiha clan against Itachi Uchiha, spends three years at the side of one who haunts the shadows, Orochimaru. Feeding on his hatred for his brother, Sasuke grows stronger ever stronger, fighting his time as he waits for the moment to leave the den, Sasuke lurks in shadow, until an unexpected reunion occurs. In search of his former friend Sasuke, Naruto Uzumaki enters the den. As Naruto calls out to him, begging him not to break the bond between them, Sasuke feels his heart tremble. But all that matters is that he defeat his enemy. He reaches silently for his sword. My bond with you is still unbroken! Sasuke... This bond you share with Naruto and his friends, I want to see it for myself. I've no interest in any of you. Get lost. between Naruto and Sasuke is wide. Having driven Naruto away for a second time, Sasuke prepares at last to fly forth from the den. His target, 
Itachi Uchiha. But there is someone else to whom Sasuke owes a farewell. His mentor and teacher, through whose motives winds the thread of evil, Orochimaru. Orochimaru, it's time for you to die. <laughs> I was just thinking that it's about time I took over your body. You really think you can? You're nowhere near as strong as I am. Let the battle begin! by the hawk that's about to take flight. Sasuke's strength far surpasses that of Orochimaru. When Orochimaru now at a disadvantage, attempts to steal Sasuke's body with his reanimation ninjutsu. His strength is instead absorbed by Sasuke, and he is banished into the darkness. Sasuke at last flies from Orochimaru's den, gathering three others, Suigetsu, Karin, and Jugo, and naming the team Heavy. The goal of Heavy is, of course, revenge against Itachi Uchiha. In order to ascertain their target's whereabouts, Sasuke and the others go on the move. Along the way, they are confronted suddenly by the two known as Deidara and Tobi. Like Itachi Uchiha, they are members of the organization Akatsuki. Craving the information they possess, Sasuke places his hand on his sword, ready to attack at any moment. So this boy here is Itachi's little brother? A pleasure to meet you. But Ochimaru lost to you? <laughs> You're just blessed with good genes, so quit acting so smug. Tell me what you know about Itachi. Let the battle begin! <laughs> Now, 
Tell me where Itachi is. heat of battle engulfed the land, until at last, silence returns. Amidst the settling dust, only Sasuke Uchiha remains. Though Sasuke suffered his own injuries, he has defeated a mighty foe, and learned the whereabouts of Itachi. The Uchiha hideout. Inside, Itachi waits. Barely able to contain his impatience, Sasuke approaches the place where his brother awaits. His traitor brother. He destroyed the entire clan. How Sasuke longs for revenge. A million feelings swirl in Sasuke's breast. Until at last, fate's appointed hour arrives. So you came, Sasuke. It's time I settled the score with you. Once and for all. Such confidence. But even with those eyes, you see nothing. You grasp nothing. You're wrong. There is one thing my eyes see clearly. They see your death, Itachi. The battle begins! <laughs> in bitter contention. As their two wills and their two jutsu clash, the tide of battle begins to flow towards Sasuke. That is, until Itachi plays his trump card, the Susano, and reverses the tide with a single stroke. Against the overwhelming force of Itachi's chakra, Sasuke faces impossible odds. Time we settle this, Sasuke. This doesn't look good. Let the battle begin! <laughs> Good. 
As his life ebbs, Itachi uses his dying strength to bequeath his final wishes to Sasuke. Then, he falls at his brother's feet. Weary, Sasuke too collapses, and when next he opens his eyes, a former foe stands before him. Toby. Toby reveals his real name, Madara Uchiha. And he tells Sasuke the truth about Itachi Uchiha. Itachi's desire to purge the clan. What had it really meant? It was a lie. None of it was true. It had been a mission given him by the Hidden Leaf Village. All that Itachi had done, he had done for his beloved younger brother. Itachi had not betrayed Sasuke. The truth shakes Sasuke to his core. Sasuke points his sword at the source of all his clan's misfortunes. Thus, in order to gain the strength needed to destroy the Hidden Leaf, Sasuke joins the Akatsuki and under Madara's orders, sets out to capture the Eight-Tailed Jinchuriki, Killer Bee. So you're Killer B. Huh, who are you? Fools, you fools! Hey, Tails. I'm here to capture you. Let the battle begin! <laughs> Take 
He thought he was a comedian. But who's laughing now? After a fierce battle, Sasuke hands the Eight Tails over to Madara. The march towards the Hidden Leaf and towards revenge begins at last. The group advances through the forest, but new information obtained by Madara Uchiha forces them to change their plans. The information? That Donzo, the ringleader who drew in Itachi, is headed now as the sixth Hokage of the Hidden Leaf to the Five Kage Summit in the Land of Iron. With Donzo as his target, Sasuke hurries toward the Land of Iron. Sasuke and the others break through the thick defenses and force their way into the Five Kage Summit. But awaiting them is Killer Bee's enraged older brother, the Rai Kage. And with him, a foe Sasuke fought once before long ago, the Kaze Kage, Gara. I'll avenge my brother. Kid, I'm gonna teach you to fear my fury. Sasuke, do not flee into your own world. You may not be able to return. I don't intend to return. The only way left to me is that of revenge. <laughs> 